Hi, today I am talking about guess who. This is not an advertisement. Cup of English is not about advertisements. Cup of English is about teaching you really good English. However, in my lessons, I use this board game every day. I use guess who to teach the difference between the present simple and the present continuous. So how does the game work? We have a blue board and we have a red board. On the red board, we have lots of pictures of people and their names. We also have the same people and their names on the blue board. Then we have a set of yellow cards. On the yellow cards, there is a picture of the person and their name. Let's take this card. This is Kyle. When we play the game, guess who? We have to be able to describe people. When we describe people, we use the present simple. If I describe myself, I say, I have pale skin, I have a medium sized nose, my nose is not small and it is not big, it is medium sized, I have shoulder length, straight brown hair, I have blue eyes, I have brown eyebrows, and I have small lips. I also have freckles. This is what I have all the time. This is what I have every day. However, today I am wearing glasses. So I say, I have pale skin, but I am wearing glasses because I can take my glasses off. I am also wearing earrings. Normally, I do not wear earrings when I am making films. But today, I am wearing earrings. So I am wearing glasses and I am wearing earrings. This is because I am doing it now. I am doing it at the moment. It is not normal. It is just now. I can also say, I am drinking tea. I can also say, I am talking to you. I can also say, I am making a film. Because I am making a film now. We use the present simple when we are talking about normal. We use the present continuous when we are talking about now. Let's have a look at Kyle. Kyle has short blonde hair. Kyle has pale skin. Kyle has blue eyes. Kyle has large lips. We are talking about the verb have. Let's look at the basic subjects. We have I, you, he, she, it, we and they. We say I have, you have, we have, they have. So I have pale skin. But Kyle has pale skin. Kyle is a boy. He is a he word. He, she, it takes has. Normally, with he, she and it, we add s or es. But with the verb have, we do not say he has, we say he has. Then we can say Kyle is a boy or Kyle is a man. 
Is comes from the verb to be. We say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. The verb to be is always an exception. This is Rachel. Rachel is a woman. Rachel has pale skin. Rachel has brown eyes. Rachel is wearing a hat. So we say Rachel is wearing. We take the verb wear in this example and we add ing. Then we need to add the verb to be. So Rachel is wearing a hat, but I am wearing a hat. Now I am not wearing a hat. We are talking about now. And that is when we use the present continuous. This is James. James is a man. James is bald. He is bald. James has a beard. James has dark skin. James has brown eyes and brown eyebrows. James is wearing an earring. This is Lisa. Lisa has pale skin. We can say Lisa has pale skin or we can say Lisa has white skin. Lisa has a pointy chin. Lisa has a large nose. We can say Lisa has a large nose or we can say Lisa has a big nose. Lisa has long straight brown hair. Lisa is wearing earrings and Lisa is wearing a hairband. This is Jay. Jay is wearing glasses and Jay is also wearing a cap. This is a cap. This is a hat. And finally, this is Megan. Megan is wearing her hair in a ponytail. This is a ponytail. It is called a ponytail because it looks like the tail of a pony. So that is how we describe somebody. If something is normal, it is every day, then we use the present simple. If it is just for now, then we use the present continuous. Now, let's get back to the game. I am the red board. I have to ask questions to find out who the blue board's person is. So I have to guess Brandon. My first question is, is your person a boy? The answer is, yes, my person is a boy because Brandon is a boy. So I can close my girls. Does your person have brown hair? No, my person does not have brown hair. So I can close my people with brown hair. Is your person wearing glasses? No, my person is not wearing glasses. Does your person have a beard? No, my person does not have a beard. Does your person have blonde hair? Yes, my person has blonde hair. 
so I can close the people who do not have blonde hair. Now I have the choice between Kyle and Brandon. So my final question is, is your person wearing a hat? Yes, my person is wearing a hat. And I can guess who the person is. So I say, is your person Brandon? And the answer is, yes, my person is Brandon. And that is how we play the game, guess who? Now let's go through the grammar. This is how we ask a question in the present simple. We use do and the original verb or does and the original verb. For all verbs except for to be, to be able, to be allowed, can and may. So let's take the verb have. Brandon has blonde hair. We do not say, does your person has brown hair? Because we use does and the original verb. And the original verb is have. So the question was, does your person have brown hair? We can also say, does your person have a beard? Does your person have a moustache? Does your person have a small nose? Does your person have a pointy chin? Does your person have large ears? For all verbs, apart from the five exceptions, we say do or does plus the original verb. Next, Brandon is a boy or Brandon is a man. Is comes from the verb to be. To be is the exception verb all the time. So we do not say does Brandon be, we just say is Brandon a boy? Brandon is a man. Is Brandon a man? I am a woman. Am I a woman? You are a boy. Are you a boy? We just switch around the subject and the verb with the verb to be. This is also the case with the present continuous. When we say Brandon is wearing a hat, we just switch it round. We say, is Brandon wearing a hat? Finally, we need to be able to make the sentence negative. So the question was, does your person have brown hair? The answer is no. My person does not have brown hair. We need either do or does, plus not, plus the original verb. Brandon does not have brown hair. He does not have brown hair. If the question was, is your person a girl? Then the answer would be, no, my person is not a girl. No, Brandon is not a girl. No, he is not a girl. So I am not wearing glasses. You are not wearing earrings. He is not wearing a cap. She is not wearing glasses. It is not wearing a collar. We are not wearing caps. They are not wearing hats. Now you have 
all the information you need to describe people. So you can play the game, guess who? I hope you found this lesson useful. If you enjoyed the lesson and you learned something, subscribe to the channel. And please leave comments in the comments section. You can also follow Cup of English on Facebook. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.